Anna? Since you've been asking me for days about it, it's confirmed. You can have the wedding venue earlier. Oh my god, Ri! Thank you so much! I know you really wanted that venue. That's why I really did my best to have it constructed as early as possible. It did cost a fortune though. Got it, got it. You have a ton of money anyway, and nowhere you really have to spend it. So, isn't it fine if you use it here? It's for a good purpose anyway. I still can't believe you managed to do as I requested. It's you we are talking about, after all. What do you mean by that? You never listen to me when I ask you about things, so this just came as a surprise. Hannah, you do realize that you asked the most absurd things from me? Lol, there you go. Anyways, forget it. I need to prepare a lot of things for the wedding and don't want to get in an argument when you just gave me a good news. I don't get you, Hannah. You never do, Risa. Tell me something new. This is the first time that you did something for me and I just want to enjoy the feeling. What about the time I paid your rent for a whole month? Or bought you a laptop when your previous one broke? You're my friend, lol. Are you really going to make me count the things you did for me as a friend? I admit that I did them out of our friendship, but I don't like the way you talk about me not doing anything for you. I ask you to forget it. No, for once, I want you to talk to me about it, instead of just forgetting it like we always do. I told you I have to go. Are you really going to make me sit here and listen as you go on about the things you did for me? Why are you talking like that? It's the truth. Do you really consider me a nuisance like that? You don't want me to answer that. That, in itself, isn't answer enough. The next day. Let's forget about our argument earlier. It's your wedding, a happy occasion, so let's just focus on that. I was thinking about which dress should I wear to your wedding. Give me some ideas. Is there any kind of color theme going on? About that. Risa, I need to talk to you. What happened? Is everything alright? Yeah, it's just how my family is, right? The other day, we were working on the guest list. There are a lot of relatives from my mother's side that'd be coming to the wedding. When the guest list got too long, I had to stop it there, meaning I can't invite any other people. What do you mean? Didn't you write my name right in the start? I totally meant to, but I kept forgetting and now the guest lists are too many. I've already booked the catering services. I can't change the number of guests now or the food won't be enough. Huh? I'm really sorry, Risa. I didn't mean for it to be like this. I don't even know what to say. I just took it for granted that I'll be invited. Now this seems pretty funny to me. Ri, you can come to the party we're having after the few days of the wedding. Are you sure there'll still be space for me in the invitees to come to that party too? Don't be like that. Don't be like what? Hurt that my friend of many years didn't invite me to her wedding, which is taking place at one of my own venues? I know. It is how it is. I can't change that. Right. Have fun at the wedding. Tell your husband I wished him a happy marriage. I will. Are you mad at me? Risa. What? You have no right to be mad at me about this. Remember all those times when you didn't invite me to the parties even though we were supposed to be best friends? What do you have to say about that, huh? What the hell are you even talking about? That was just one time. And it was a party hosted by my relatives. How could I invite you to a family-only function? Well, it's the same here. You're kidding me. This is completely different from that. This is your own wedding. How can you not invite me there? You're using one of my venues, for God's sake. And need I remind you, I sped up the process of construction because you wanted to use one? Did you even try to make space for me? 
You think I'm lying when I say I forgot to add you in the start? Is that how much you trust me? We've been friends for more than seven years. Seven freaking years. And this is how you treat me. Do not make this about you. You always do that whenever you think the argument is not going in your favor. Yes, we have been friends for seven years. And you just forgot about me like that when planning for the biggest event in your life. Unbelievable. I did have a lot of faith in you. I would have trusted you with my life. But this felt like such a slap to my face. More like a reality check, to be honest. You have everything in your life, and yet you're whining to me over such a trivial thing. So what if you're not invited? Get over it. Hannah, I just don't understand what I did to warrant such a treatment from you. We were just doing fine yesterday, weren't we? Why did you have to go and do a thing like this? To you, it might be something trivial, but to me, it just tells me how I was overestimating our friendship. I thought nothing could come between us, but this just showed me you're not even willing to let me be part of one of the major events of your life. No, what I don't understand, it is why you just can't seem to move on from this one thing. You can come to the after party. That's practically almost the same thing. <laughs> yeah, I guess you would say that. Why do you sound like that now? No reason. Have fun at your wedding. I will. You know, you can come to the after party. I know. But I won't. Your choice. I will force you. One week later. I just wanted to let you know that in the previous week, I had a lot of time to go over all our conversations and interactions. It just left me baffled that I didn't realize earlier how you were. I guess the view I had of our friendship made me blind to realize how you were treating me. Because if I had realized it earlier, surely I would have stopped talking to you a long time ago. I can't even count the amount of times you manipulated me into doing something for you. Just because I had the money gave you no right to use our friendship like that. I just got a call from one of the companies you mentioned once. I think they accidentally called me instead of you. What's this about? Seems like the after party is over. What the hell have you done? What kind of bullshit did you send above? Invoice? Payment? Why do I have to pay for one of your venues, Risa? Make sure you pay all the invoices by the end of the week or a company employee will be visiting you shortly. I'd hate to see you having to go to court over something as trivial as this. Have a lovely time at the wedding. That's typically how it goes, since you were the one who requested for the process to be sped up. Now you have to pay for it, since your request got fulfilled. Is this your revenge on me for not inviting you? What the hell? Are you really this shallow? Shouldn't I be the one saying that? I just got married. Where am I going to get this much money from? Sounds like a you problem to me. I hate you. You clearly have the money. What the hell do you mean I manipulated you? You chose to spend all that money. It's not like I held a gun to your head and made you buy stuff for me. Even half of these payments is more than my salary. How am I going to pay for it? I just got married. Do you remember when I paid your rent for the year? I had no means of getting the money. It was all my savings. Those were the worst days of my life. But I didn't tell you. Can you guess why? Because I thought that might make you sad. It meant the world to me when I saw you, my only friend, being happy. You should have told me. But why are you telling me about that now? How does that even relate to this? It won't. For you. Take back the invoices, Risa. I won't. You're such a bitch. I wish I could strangle you. Don't ever show me your ugly face again. Ah, uh, so this is the true you. I thought it would be heartbreaking to say goodbye to you. But I feel oddly at peace. Maybe it's because I'm starting to realize how much of a bad effect our friendship had on me. 
Where the hell are you going? I'm leaving the country. Why do you get to escape? Well, I have to pay for everything. Because it was you who requested for it. Don't make me repeat myself. This is goodbye. I hope we never cross paths again. Next month. I had to sell my freaking car and cancel my honeymoon just because of your goddamn pettiness. Jack was so angry and it was the night of our wedding. So what if I used some of your money in the past? That's what you were only good for. Who'd even talk to you, Risa? I was the only one. People stayed the hell away from you because of the weirdo you are. You're still exactly the same. Good luck trying to find new friends. It makes me pity you. I don't need your pity. I bet you don't. Don't come crying to me when you can't find any friends. I won't. Good. Would it have killed you to pay for your things yourself? I haven't even paid the whole amount yet. Half of it is left. My bank is constantly calling me to pay off the loans I took for the wedding. How do I even tell them that I paid off my car yet still have no money? Why did you stop typing? Nothing left to say? You never have anything to say when it matters anyway. Few months later. I bet you're enjoying your life in another country. Do you want to know what I've been through in the past few months? You probably don't care. But I no longer have my house. I had to sell that off. Maybe I really did something bad. I'm sorry. What's this now? I'm sorry. So take back everything you've done to me. I didn't deserve any of it. I want to go back to how it was. With me doing everything for you? Yes, just face it, Risa. You can't do anything without me. I'm still willing to forgive you for everything. So just accept my goddamn apology and take back all the payments. Unbelievable. What? It's the right thing to do. When you apologize, I thought you might have come to your senses. But this is just you, only thinking about yourself. It must be nice having a one-track mind like that. I would have even taken back everything. But you just dug this hole deeper for yourself because you made me realize a person like you isn't worthy of being forgiven. What are you on about now? Being worthy? Please. I only ever did what was the best for you, and look at you. No matter what I say, it won't reach you anyway, so go off. Screw you. I even became nice and apologized, but no, you don't even want to hear that. What the hell do you want then? Answer me, Risa. Risa! This number can no longer be reached. Thanks for watching. Consider subscribing for more text conversation stories. Bye-bye!